It's tiny, but it's so cosy, and I'll show you. It's really cosy. So there's Kyle, and then this is the little kitchenette. Got a wee breakfast bar, and then the bed. Got a wee telly. They've given us wee candles, which is quite cute. The view isn't the best, but who cares? Like we're only laying our head in it, so not too bad. And then the toilet. Decent shower, I've not used it yet, so I don't know how it is. Honey! But yeah, we're here for five days. We're here for an anniversary, we're five years tomorrow. And we're really excited about it. We're to fly from Glasgow to London and then London to Gdansk. So we're finally here, and it's what time is it? Three o'clock? No. About three o'clock, so we've got the full five days. Kyle's okay, just dying to lie down. Oh, I actually had a good wee sleep on the plane, so I feel refreshed. You were the I had nobody sitting next to me, so I was like, ah, it's great. Oh. Kyle had somebody on either side of him, although he did have like extra leg room, so. Oh, but yeah, we're excited and we'll take you along with us. Kyle's just happy that he's got a bloody iron. I think it was nearly packed an iron muffins. Just what's on for me. I got the plug, I made the call for me. I'm talking late night for you. Let me lay a great job on you. So I'm going to get all technical right and use all my fun facts. Because Kyle was wrong about my fact. But in the war, World War II, Gdansk was bombed. And there was like 95% of the city was completely destroyed and everything was rebuilt. So all the buildings see that you see in this vlog is all rebuilt. And Kyle was like, nah, that's Warsaw. I'm like, no it's not, it's Gdansk. Because I read it's about it. Wrong. It's not. And he just can't admit that it was wrong. But you know, do you still can't admit that? I'm right. Still cannot admit that it was wrong. But yeah, all the buildings you see are all been built back up. And they're just, I love the buildings though. We were saying it's kind of like Amsterdam, isn't it? Like Amsterdam kind of vibes, but they're like teeny wee slim buildings, they're lovely. No, they didn't get to them. I'm talking about I know, factual issues in your. That's talking facts. about, you know, how they didn't get it. No, they didn't. <laughs> and get down skit. Thing is, what I had a shot. I made up prawn crackers. We came to Christmas Bar and get a cocktail. Mm. And prawn crackers are so good because I'm so hungry. Why do you always get the cool ones? They're nice. What? <laughs> <laughs> nice. What's that? Like, where is it? Like, see, sour and spice, and then sweet and sour, and sweet, sweet sour, sour and refreshing. Food. Like, they should have that in Glasgow because I, I always end up getting cocktails in Glasgow and they end up pure spicy, and I don't like them. Say it, I want all night. Say it, I want all night. Hello, stranger. Your fame's been 
waiting Just as I recall that Your ass is still amazing Playing, baby I'm saying, baby Love it, shit, you know I'm crazy So go ahead and put a drink up Cafe, let's go for breakfast. Into cafe. We'll breakfast burgers. Or some breakfast. And then we're going to try and go for a spa for our anniversary. Since it's what? Five years. Five years anniversary, so. Well, we just went to the Museum of World War II. Mm. It's a bit heavy. A lot of information to take in. But it was good. Oh my god, look. There's an air raid shelter. Look at that. Sad what happened. It just doesn't feel like it's actually happened. It feels like, I don't know, like made up because it's so tragic. Like, there was bits in there that showed you like what they looked like, like what people looked like and when I mean, they were in the concentration camps and it's just it's good to learn, it's so tragic. But we've been to Auschwitz, so Auschwitz was like oh, an eye opener if you're ever going to go, just be prepared because it's, it's good to learn, but it's, it's quite hard hitting. But that was more informative, but it was still a lot. Mm. What did you think? It was good, it was just uh, a lot to take in. And then we got to like, a certain point where we were like, right, that's it finished. And we went to try and ask somebody how we get out, and they're like, we need to go into the second half. And I was like, the second half? Jesus Christ. There was a lot, there was tanks. There was an actual tank, which we totally missed. The tank it wasn't me, but. Anyway, we weren't able to get massage today, so we booked it for Saturday. Which is good, I'm looking forward to it. So we're just going to go and get a drink. And then we've booked a, a shooting experience after we've been to the shooting range. Shooting range. Which is which will be an experience because I've never obviously never shoot never shot a gun before. So I'm hoping they're gonna teach me. I'm a bit nervous for it. So we get an hour and I think we get to choose what one we want to use, but I'm like oh, I'm scared. How'd you feel after that? <laughs> Alright, I've just seen a fucking drink to Cam and Ellsman. <laughs> that was scary business. They're be scary. I thought it would have been absolutely fine, right? And then I'm like, oh, pretty excited for it. And then I shot the first gun and I think it was... But what was the first gun we did? I think it was a carbine, so it was it was like a, a rifle type. So like a rifle type yeah. gun. Oh, and it was fine, like there was not a lot of kickback. And then I think the next one was a, like, a wee shotgun, like a wee pistol. Oh my God. I was just so nervous about like, kicking back onto my my hand, you know how people get that kind of kickback bit on their hand if they don't know how to shoot a gun, which I don't know how to shoot a gun. Um, and I was so nervous, but the guys were so good. The guys that were taking us through the experience were so good, weren't they, Kyle? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were really good. Um, they showed us everything. The safety was top notch. They were keeping us both as safe, but it was so good. Really good. It was an experience, to see, especially when it's so dangerous, because I don't think people realise how, well, people do realise how dangerous guns are. But see when you're, you've got one in your hand, oh my god! And there was one I was—we were both doing it. It was a shotgun, and it was honestly 
the heaviest thing I've ever held. So it was it was scary, but it was a good experience. We did like the package that was like five rounds with so many guns, and then I think one of them was ten rounds. And then they asked us at the end if we wanted to try any other ones, and Kyle was going to try. But was that an Uzi? Right. An Uzi, whatever that is, and he was like, Nah, I don't want to do that. Not fucking shooting up my fucking wall. I thought he was just going to go up the way. But it's funny because Kyle's right handed, but the guy was seeing his left hand dominant with we shouldn't have gone because with the right one he was just missing, but with the left hand he was holding it on his left, he was he was getting it, so that's interesting. But yeah, if you're wanting to go, if anybody's gonna try it then I'll leave their location in their their wee trip advisor down below and you can go and see. But it was definitely an experience. It was fifth what was it, forty nine pounds, which was like 270 is lottie, which is like 49 pounds for the both of us. Um, so it was like just under 25 pounds each, and that was for I think it was six guns, and there was quite a few rounds you got with it, which I thought was really good. We went to we got an Uber there, so I think the Uber there was four pounds. No, the Uber there was two pounds. Two pounds the Uber was, and it was a 15 minute car journey, and then coming back it was four pounds, so not much at all if you want to, because there's a wee bit outside. I could ask, it's like 15 minutes, so, but it's good. We're just recollecting ourselves now. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go and get a beer to calm the nerves because I'm still shooken up. Okay, it was first time trying a Guinness. Alright, what's the verdict? Alright. Nice. It's been waiting Just as I recall that Ash is still amazing Playing baby Saying baby Love it, you know I'm crazy So go ahead and put a drink up Good morning <laughs> Not woke today yet My eyes are a bit puffy just heading for some breakfast. Uh, what restaurant? Bellies. Belly bow bags. <laughs> Can you? There's no need. <laughs> I think it's hard to be so rough, but when your view is. Look at that. Huh? It's a really good view. It's so beautiful. You can actually go onto this boat and. I think we do like food and drink and live music and all that, but I'm not a big lover of boats, so I don't know if I'll be doing that. I'm doing that. It's alright. It's like good. There's a wee guy that goes down the river. Is that a river? Stream. Yeah. Goes down the stream. With a pirate hat on and like it actually looks like a proper old fashioned pirate. It's a river called? The River Thames. No, the river. Um, yeah. You don't even know what it's called? I don't know. I don't know how to say that. Is, is yeah. there another river Oh no, that's the one in France, isn't it? But it leads to the Baltic Sea. Okay. Christmas. Okay. 
Schatz auch. Ich hab mich hier. 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 Ich hab mich so many flies as well. We're at the home of the executioner of Gdansk. Me. <laughs> this used to be like a torture prison, the home of the executioner. Put your hands in that, Kyle. This is where the guy who used to live that executed everybody. Put your hands in. Look. Don't even try it. I fucking. I'm still in the vlog because you hope that. Again. But they used to actually put their prisoners to that, and then that used to be their exercise. From out of there. So yeah, I know my facts. A lot of people in there as well. In the big cages. I'm <laughs> joking, they did me. <laughs> You believe me there, but trying pierogi, which is a Polish cuisine, and I fill with potatoes and cheese. Well, nice, huh? Okay. Taste test number two. <laughs> How was it? Different than that? Mm -hmm. Texture different. <laughs> mm. So, what's the bad thing? Your first pierogi. Mm. And you're fair eating them, so. It is it's a no for me. I left quite a lot. I think it's a texture to like. It's just really kind of mushy. No. But we tried it. We did it. We tried the authentic Polish cuisine. It's gonna be messy. Really? <laughs> you put it on top. I don't really know how to use them either, but are you putting them away? <laughs> Honestly, you're so annoying. I taste it. Head tied, never tried it before. Do I try? Go. Nice. Morning. morning. We've just been for breakfast and we're going to go and get a massage because we've looked in and Kyle was so nervous. Are you nervous, Nelly? You don't need to be nervous, it'll be fine. Be relaxing. Oxer. Talk what? Can talk now? What to each other? <laughs> when would you want to talk? Oh, like fucking shut my eyes. Come in. Shut my eyes and treat her. Touching my body. We can be relaxed. What? <laughs> no, you won't. What's that? What's that? You're then? You'll be relaxed. Yes. You'll not even think yes. about it. It's out the One Harmony, Harmony, sorry, <laughs> Spa and Wellness Centre. How did you find it? I thought it was good. It was really good. Nice and relaxed, as you can tell. Well, how was it for you? Uh, it was good. Yeah, give it an eight. Though. What? You were nervous though. I was, I was nervous, but that was good. Okay, the tiniest, tiniest wee, wee pants to wear. Oh, it was so funny. It's kind of worse than a man, can you? <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello
Okay, ten for me. Mm. Okay. You said seven? I would say seven. Just because I think it could have been, been a wee bit of a firmer, but I think because the language barrier, I don't think we can ask you, like, is that firm enough or not? But it's still really good. Mm -hmm. It's a full body massage. Right, oh, I see. It's 590 is the like 96 pounds. And it was a 50 minute massage, full body, and you see the swimming pool, the spa, and so on, and you've got like a wee tea and a wee biscuit. Right, Which was good. Relaxing. When I got home, you'd be paid like probably 150 pounds or something like that. I was relaxing and um, had a sauna and jacuzzi, so. Mm -hmm. Phil tries to get me in the sauna, and I'm just sweating out my boobs, man. It's good. It's good. Feel rejuvenated now. Okay. Ready for a pint. Ready for a drink. Maybe watch Rangers game. Oh. Are we on the road? Are we on the people? Are we off? Are we off? Bye. 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 Morning, Grumpy. It's the last day. We're just getting some breakfast with this view behind us. And as always, I've got a heater. Your favourite? <laughs> I love a new heater. And I'm going to try some hot apple. And it's got apple juice, honey, and lemon in it. We'll try it, it's an autumn drink and I love autumn. Since we got here, all I spoke about is getting an amber ring and I got one. It's so pretty. Drink up. I'm so glad we got to link up. Yeah. It's a taking that off, taking that off of me. Yeah. I got the plug, I made the call for me. Uh -huh. I'm talking late night, boy.